Hi friends. So here's the deal on this lovely Thursday. Um, we are going to do a bit of time traveling for this week's dramatic diary reading. Full disclosure, um, the reason I'm not using the uh, entries from the journal I've been reading from is because I dropped it on the floor and I can't find it. In my defense, I've been meaning to get a gripper, but I, you know, one of those things that you can use to pick stuff up that you dropped? Well, I, I haven't gotten one yet, so it's my fault. But today, we will be reading from, this is one of my later journals, one of my more recent journals, actually. Um, I really like this one. It's one of those magnetic ones, the clasps. I really like it. Um, but anyway, this is from... For I, this is after actually I graduated college, um, a few months after, from Friday, September 16th, 2005. <clears> hmm. <throat> well, another week has passed and I'm still unemployed. I'm slowly realizing it's all a very frustrating process. The newspaper editor said he still has to talk to the publisher, so I'm calling him again on Monday. It's that persistent journalist in me, I suppose. Oh god, guess who I saw yesterday? Crush boy. He was walking home from class, he was going to law school, and he actually said hello. He was acting so damn cool because he is going to law school, like it's some huge honor or something. Whatever. Every time I see him, I think of the mysterious, I put in quotes, relationship between him, he and his sister. Oh, I forgot about that. Like, five months before, my sister was acting really weird because, like, they were emailing. And I know it's all very petty, looking back on it now, but I never did find out what they were emailing about, and I don't think I ever will. Anyway, bye guys. Hmm. Uh, where was I? I never did find out what happened, and maybe I don't even want to know. But you know me, Diary, as he was talking to me, I turned to mush and a bumbling idiot yet again. He was telling me about his classes and just looked so cute. Damn, why do I still let him have this power over me? I'm so over him, and what could it have been? I don't need him, and I don't want him. But every time I see him, my heart tells me I'm as much in love with him now as I always have been. I'm starting to think I'm crazy. If somebody else told me this sad story, I'd laugh and think that was the most pathetic thing I've ever heard. But, for whatever reason, I just can't get past him. He's like some magnetic force that keeps drawing me in. I feel so helpless around him. What do you think would happen if I just told him straight up, Oh wait, I probably couldn't do that. I'd turn mute or sound completely stupid. Is there something terribly wrong with me? Oh, I'm listening to the Beatles, and In My Life just came on. How serendipitous. It was that song. That song makes me so sad. I love Crush Boy, M.B. Well, there's another pathetic little entry for you. Yeah, guys, take that wait for what it is. Um, I'm going to have lunch right now because I'm having a hugely, hugely busy day. Um, but I will talk to you guys soon. Hope you guys are having a wonderful Thursday. And remember, smile is new sexy. Awkward is new cool, and flawed is new beautiful. Pass it on. I love you guys. Talk to you later.